Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Charlene and for those of you who've been around for a while, welcome back for yet another video. This channel focuses on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If you like any of those things, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and join the Savvy family. Today's video is all about foundation face-off. I did this video a while ago with Lancome versus Estee Lauder, and I just thought that I would do a more affordable version of the face-off. So today we are gonna test e.l.f and Wet and Wild. These are two drugstore foundations, very, very affordable. I will insert the prices below and let us see which one works better with my skin tone. Let's see which one performs better. Let's see how they do. So I will be doing a little wear test, a couple check-ins, and then we'll determine which drugstore foundation hits the spot. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So I'm gonna start off with the Lancome Pro Base Eraser, and this is the Instant Pore Minimizer. I will link all the products in the description box, so feel free to check that out. I focus on my T-zone because this is where I get oily, this is where my pores are way more magnified. So I did a foundation face off before, and the feedback was pretty good. I will link that video below. On the left side, we will go with the Wet and Wild on the left side, and then we will go with the Elf on the right side. I have used both of these foundations on my channel before. I enjoy them both, but let us see how they perform side by side. This is the uh, Photo Focus Foundation and by Wet n Wild, and this is in the shade Espresso. This is the Flawless Finish Foundation, and this is in the shade Cocoa, deep with neutral undertones. I think that that is the closest I came to my shade, so let's see. Oh. So, I'm just gonna work that in the skin. Okay, and I will use a sponge for the other side. So they're not the same. This one is definitely more warm tone, more rich, more red. This one is more cool tone. All right, so this is what we have right now. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer um, on both sides. This is it for the base. To set the under eye, I'm using the KVD Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. This is the setting powder. I've raved about this translucent powder so much on my channel. I really like it. It works beautiful. Love it. And to set the entire face, I am using the Studio Fix Foundation. This is the NW45 by MAC. Comment down below and let me know which of the two foundations that you've used, if you've tried both, and which one do you prefer. For the cheeks, I'm gonna use the Rose Doro um, by Milani. It looks like this. It has a little bit of shimmer. You know, I'm a heavy hitter when it comes to the blush. I love it. And I go a little ham, I'm not gonna lie. I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. This is the Potion Primer, I love it so much. And it doesn't budge, so good. So from the Morphe 350 palette, I'm just using these two brown shades and going all over the lid. I want to add a shimmer. I'm gonna go in the Beauty Creations and a palette and I'm just gonna go in. I've been having a nude kick lately and it's like, can't stop, won't stop. Just kinda get the inner corner a little bit. Sometimes nothing beats your finger because it just blends the product in so well. And that's it. 
so pretty. I will go in with these lashes. For the brows, I'm using the LA Girl Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. Love this stuff. It looks like a dream. And I'm using this e.l.f. angle brush to add the product. Mmm. Cute. I think we are looking pretty good. I'm here for it. We are gonna go underneath the brow with the Seal Booster and the Better Than Love Mascara. This thing literally creates so much volume in my bottom lashes. It's the before and after is ridiculous. If you want volume in your lashes, get your Seal Booster. It's the business. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer and just going all across the contours of the face. And for the nose, a smidge. For the lip, I'm using my Chestnut by MAC. This is Naturally Chic by Milani. It's like a pinky nude-ish. And then I'm gonna go full on gloss. Because why not? So I'm gonna shape up the brow just a smidge and I will be done. I'm not here for it. <laughs> Hi guys, this is it for the look. I kept it neutral today. Glossy lips, kind of neutral eye with a little shimmer. I am here for it. Very cute. Hmm. I'm gonna go about my day. I will do a couple check-ins and we will see which is performing better and basically which one won. The last time I kind of had like a, a tie because they both were pretty good. This time we'll see if we have the same results or if we have an actual winner. So I, like I said, I will check in and I will see you guys in a few. Hey guys, this is my first check-in. It's been four hours since I've been wearing the foundation. I blotted twice already because my oils are coming through and um, but this is how the foundations are looking this side is the wet and wild and this side is the uh, elf I mean my face is looking really good it looks like I have the same foundation on not much difference I'm equally oily on both sides however I do feel like on the elf side the foundation is a little bit lighter and on the um, wet and wild side it is a little bit heavier so anyway we are looking good I am liking it and um, I did notice that there was a little bit of separation on the elf side but like I said it is lighter while this one is a little heavier but overall they are performing pretty good I mean they could easily be a high-end foundation and you wouldn't know the difference I am seeing more of a shine though with the highlight on this side, but I don't think that's a big deal. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys in a few more hours and then I will wrap up this video. See you soon. Hey guys, I am back. It is now 6.30. 
about two and a half hours since I last checked in. I've blooded three times already, so this is my fourth. Okay, and just to remind you, this side is the wet and wild, the left side, and this side is the elf, the right side. But when I get up close, guys, like, I can see my texture, I can see my pores peeking through both of them, but on the side of the elf, there's just like, the, the foundation itself has worn off a little bit, and I can literally see my skin. On the wet and wild side, I feel like the foundation is holding. I cannot see my skin as much as I'm seeing it for this side. Both foundations are on the affordable side, which is a plus. They both cost about $6. So, I mean, for the finish that I'm getting, you cannot beat that with a stick, okay? If I compare my Lancome and my Estee Lauder, I get about the same amount of wear, maybe a little bit longer. I mean, and then I might stay a little bit more matte with those foundations, but it's like three times the amount or even four times the amount. So as far as wear time and longevity, I give both foundations a five. As far as coverage, I give the Wet and Wild a five and I give the Elf about a three and a half because I'm really around my mouth area on this side. I am really, really seeing my skin, y'all. For the pros, I would say the price on both foundations is good. Um, on the L side, the coverage is great, really great. Um, as far as color selection, they can both work. I don't know if Espresso for the Wet n Wild and Mocha for the Elf are my perfect, perfect shade, but I can definitely get away with them. You know what I mean? So there's just way more pros for these foundations than cons. Um, unfortunately, I am super oily. They do not control my oils as much as I would like them to. And for that reason, I had to blot throughout. But anyway, I'm definitely not complaining about the performance of these foundations so which one is the winner you guys can see i'm coming as up close as i possibly can based on the coverage of the wet and wild foundation this is what gives it the edge over the elf but both of them work really well you could definitely get a full flawless beat with both foundations and be really satisfied so that is it for today's foundation face off I hope you liked it and let me know if you agree based on what you're seeing. I did like the outside view because you could really, really see like the foundation a little better. There was just a lot of outside noise happening. So sorry about that. Anyway, that is it for the video and I hope to see you in my next one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.